Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd look at the World Book Encyclopedia. <laughs> you know, the letter S-O to S-Z? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I've looked at what we just... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Darwinism. Oh, the origin of species. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about Darwin the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this concept of natural selection and how there's the the very slow adaptive process of evolution <laughs> now a lot of Christians they're not Darwinianisms <laughs> a lot of them think that God was involved in the actual creation of mankind and <laughs> there's a there's a debate that goes on about that <laughs> you ever seen the the fish that has Darwin in the middle of it and how people buy bumper stickers and put it on the back of their vehicles. Huh? I thought of a few bumper stickers myself and I could possibly make some money in the bumper stickers. You know, social Darwinism <laughs> asserts that those individuals best able to survive <laughs> show their fitness by accumulating property, wealth, and social status. Oh, some poverty, according to the theory of prison individual or <laughs> groups on fitness. <laughs> That's like being known as an eater in the United States of America. <laughs> I mentioned that I'm wanting to move, and the guy that I've been staying with actually is a very good friend, and I'm, I'm happy that I stayed there. <laughs> But we have an agreement that it would be very uncool for me to continue to live there. Yes, yes, yes. Now, he doesn't understand about how people do things today, where they they pretty much Google the name of any person that they have any interest in, and then they go on Facebook and find out anything about their personal profile and see if they're involved in any social networking and exactly what their ideas are. <laughs> But as a homeless, indigent, food, transient, invitee, the social Darwinists would say that my poverty is because of my unfitness. It's my problem that I have. And I know those in the police, they'd say, well, that's totally your problem. We don't have to do anything about it. Mm. But really, Darwinists could be wrong, as difficult as it is to believe that. <laughs> Let's say that you put on the web that <laughs> there were two um, protection orders against me. Yes. <laughs> and just reading it, a lot of people say, no, I'm not going to employ the guy. And <laughs> then they do a background check. Oh, they use one of those services? Yes. Why don't you just use my name and Marilyn's name? She might have wanted to be employed after her husband goes to prison. And I said, well, Marilyn, I've got a lot of work for you to do. And if you just stayed in bed, in fact, last night I was thinking about it. Yes. <laughs> You know, there's a, a group of individuals that they're about the, the sex and the money. <laughs> They'll do anything for money. <laughs> and I thought, well, what I'd like to do is get all my money and then give it to Marilyn. <laughs> and uh, there's the concept of, well, I'm not having sex with you unless you purchase me something. <laughs> a lot of those in the family, they won't have sex unless you buy them something. <laughs> And I thought, well, it'd be a lot easier if I gave her all my assets and then I would get a large bed and I'd never get out of it and she'd just use my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, the concept is, <laughs> I'm not paying for sex, <laughs> but I would allow women to pay me, <laughs> as long as I wouldn't have to get out of bed <laughs> pretty much every day of my life. Now, some women were like, well, wouldn't you get fat if you did that? And I thought, well, <laughs> probably, but does the weight of the actual... <laughs>